guys. Happy Monday. Let's get after it this week, okay? Um, today is a really fun workout. At least I think it's fun. Um, but the warm-up is a little lengthy, okay? So we're going to start with just a two-minute, nice, easy pace on either the rower, the bike, or um, a nice, easy jog, okay? Once you've done those two minutes at, again, an easy pace, we're going to go into two rounds going to be 30 seconds of an active push-up plank hold, okay? So you're going to get the top of the push-up hands beneath your shoulders like always. Nice straight line, actively pressing through, engaging your core, and you're going to hold that for 30 seconds. After that, we're going to go into 10 scap push-ups. I should have just stayed on the ground. From here, we're just going to drive through those lats and those shoulder blades and then drive your right back up, okay? Notice my arms are staying locked out the whole time. After that, we're gonna go into a 30 second hollow hold. A few different options here. You can be straight out, okay, in that hollow hold. You can have your arms here or you can even be tucked this way. Whatever is more comfortable for you to hold up for 30 seconds. And then, 10 bootstrappers. Okay, with the bootstrappers, you're going to start standing. You're going to tuck your fingers underneath your toes. You're going to drive all the way down. Try to be as open as possible. And then you're going to drive right back through those legs, pressing through your back. And that's one going to that next one for 10 reps. Once you're done two rounds of that, we're going to go into 10 rounds, or I'm sorry, two rounds of 10 kip swings if you have a, a rig where you can do that or 10 upright rows with the upright rows you're going to have your dumbbells or a barbell and all you're going to do is go straight up elbows by the up towards the ceiling and then controlling it right back down okay 10 of those 10 tuck ups so with the tuck ups we're going to be out here all the way up Try to touch your hands underneath your legs, right back down. After that, we're going to go into 10 groiners. So we're going to take a nice big step, okay? Kind of sink your hip down. Try to stay upright if you need to be on the ground you can. And then you will alternate for 10 reps. And then 10 Russian kettlebell swings with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, okay? Big chest. Tucking under, just going up to eye level. Okay, really squeezing through the glutes. Once you've done those two rounds, we're gonna go into a three minute EMOM. Okay, the EMOM means every minute on the minute for three minutes. So you have one minute to do 15 air squats. Okay, with the air squats, normal squat stance, hips back, chest up, hip up full squat, stand up all the way and 10 burpees. So chest all the way to the ground, back up, jumping with your hands above your head, okay? If that is way too many reps, you can scale down the reps to make sure you're completing it within that 50 seconds, okay? You're gonna do that three times every minute on the minute. <clears throat> That's a lot for the warm up. Get it done, take your time, good quality reps, and then I'll see you for the workout. Okay guys, your favorite word for today is Tabata. If you aren't sweaty from the warm up yet, you're about to get really sweaty. Um, this may not look so bad on paper, but be ready for a really nice grind of a workout. Okay, so the way this works is a Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. Okay, we're gonna go th through all eight rounds of one movement before we move on to the next movement. You're going to have one minute of rest between each one, okay? So the first movement that we're going to do is rushing kettlebell swings. So this can also be used with your dumbbells, like I showed you in the warm-up. So you're going to pick it up to the hang position. You're going to unlock your hips, or knees, hinge through the hips. Nice big chest, just up to eye level, squeezing through your glutes at the top, okay? You'll put it down after 20 seconds, rest 10 seconds, and then pick it up and go again until you complete eight total rounds. Once you complete eight rounds of those Russian kettlebell swings, you're going to rest one minute, 
And then you're going to move on to the second movement. Second movement is just air squats, okay? With this, we're looking for quality over quantity, okay? So nice quality reps all the way down to parallel, all the way up to standing. Don't do any of these, okay? Focus, hit that parallel, hit it all the way up. You're going to do that for eight total rounds. You'll rest one minute. And then we'll go into toes to bar if you have a rig available to you or a reverse crunch. With the reverse crunch, just find something to grab onto or if you have a wall, you can put your hands on the wall or a box. I'm going to use the back of my bike. And we're going to lay flat, arms extended. Okay, and nice hollow position, feet off the ground. You're going to bring those knees up and in, tight and then control it right back out to that hollow position, okay? Once we've done all eight rounds of that, we're going to go into slam balls. If you have a ball available to you, it could be a soccer ball, basketball, volleyball, whatever you have, or um, a med ball, or you could do ground overhead, okay? So with the slam ball, you're going to pick the ball up, deadlift position, all the way up over your head, down to the ground, right back up for that next one, okay? If you're doing ground to overhead, just all the way up, and then overhead, okay? You can use your dumbbells, your um, kettlebell, whatever equipment you have with you or an object. Once you're done with that, then you are done with the workout. With the workouts, with the Tabatas, try to hit whatever number you've been hitting for rounds one and two. So if you're hitting about 12 to 13, try to aim for that for the rest of the six rounds, okay? Enjoy this workout. Again, good quality reps, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.